Ah, uh, the Dwarven Mines. The land of literal opportunities, I gotta say. When this update came around, I was actually surprised you could make money off of this. Because, I mean, it's mining, and you no know, one really likes to do mining. And as we know, things on the bazaar sell for quite a bit if they're related to mining. But, like, a new ore coming out? I don't know how that would have worked out. And here we are now. The Crystal Hollows can make you so much profit. However, there's a gray area to the Dwarven Mines where people don't really make profit. And I really gotta say that, honestly, if any of you guys just want to increase your money passively over time, come down to the Dwarven Mines. Trust me. It'll always work out. Why will it always work out? Well, because this will usually happen. The main reason for this is because, well, the Dwarven Mines, not really, not many people really just want to go down here and go up to the forger and ask him, Hey, make me some stuff which I will collect in six hours. No one wants to do that for some reason. So... We are here right now, and basically, really, to find out if you can make profit off of the Dwarven Mines, just look at what it costs and how much you can sell it for on either the AH or the Bazaar. So, in this case, we have Refined Mithril. Refined Mithril can make you a profit of how much? Let us see. Create a buy order. Make sure you always buy a buy order, because if you don't, I'm, I will personally murder you. So, we just saw that we could make a flip of 320,000 coins, well, three, 311,000 if we were to buy, well, 50,000, almost 66,877 coins, whatever. Point is, you make profit on this one. This one, you need two enchanted diamond blocks. Let us see the cost of enchanted diamond blocks. Not by instantly. I almost murdered myself there. 407,000. I mean... The bizarre sell price is scary, though. But you make 60k profit on this one. Uh, mithril plate. You can sell this for 3.5 mil, actually. Golden plate. Let's say bejeweled handle. glass eye jewels. Can you buy glass eye jewels? Refined? No, you cannot. Um... What else? Fuel tanks. Two blocks of coal. I order of two. That is actually not profit. But. Refined mithril is profit. So let us invest. And see. What happens ladies and gentlemen. Now honestly. If you were to just come here. Every day. Just to like. Put stuff into the forger and make a profit. You would make around 200k profit. I mean, I'm already making 200k profit. But if you upgrade the forger and you, like, get its fifth slot and you also create buy orders and create sell offers, you'll be making 200k profit off the bat. Why, like, it, it, why wouldn't you do this, though? Is it because you're not willing to wait for the thing? To be done being forged, or do you just not like money? Because if you don't like money, I hate you. Everyone likes money. That's what keeps Skyblock going, and it's what keeps the admins rich, and what keeps me from being wiped because I'm panicking and I think I accidentally bought stuff on the auction that's duped. But we don't talk about that. We talk about profits here. So, let us see. It has my things. No, only one of them. Okay, well, we're going to be here for a while. So, I guess I'll start talking about how you could, like, get your Heart of the Mountain up if you're a new player and you just somehow magically have 1.1 million coins laying around, being able to buy four, st four big stacks, which is 160 of Enchanted Mithril. But, really, just grab yourself a Glashite set. You don't need jewels on this, trust me. I just got them because my friend told me to. So, yeah. Grab yourself a Pico Nimbus. If you don't want a Pico Nimbus, go for a Fractured Mithril Pickaxe and add efficiency 5 to it. And just 
Do your commissions. Where is my missionary person? There they are. I mean, I can really just go to the person. But, yeah, just come up to one of these folks or the king. Depends on who. And you can just do your commissions. And you, won't, I believe you only need Heart of the Mountain 2. Yeah, you only need Heart of the Mountain 2 for the forge. So... It's not gonna take you that long. How much XP do you even need for that? It's, yeah, you don't even need. Yeah, it's two tiers. I think you can complete it in like two quests, maybe less or maybe more. I don't know, but anyway, as you can see, my orders are here now. So I'll just collect them. Go up to the forge person, click on refine mithril. Boom. Click on refine mithril again. Boom. Click on it again. That's the wrong one. Boom. And now, if we give it just a little wee bit of time, I keep clicking on the wrong thing. I think this is like the bazaar. And we just need to wait six hours, and we can get 200k for absolutely doing nothing. Now, that's great, personally. I personally believe that's great. Because if you could just wait six hours for a free 200k coins, what's there to not like? And not to mention you still get the other 1 million coins you spent for your investment. You're only making a 200k profit, yes, but you're still keeping your coins. Meaning, you can constantly be doing this. And if you do this four times, you can make a solid million. No, never mind, you have to do it five times to make a million. But we don't talk about that. You made your money, and that's really all you came here for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. I'm trying to do these generic money-making videos because making long edited videos takes time, even though I don't edit at all. Anyway, hope you guys have a great day. Peace.